Hello, you're watching The Pitch. I'm Sarah Allen. Could the best days from traditional portfolios be behind us? Today, I'm joined by MLC Asset Management's Anthony Golowenko to discuss that. Anthony, welcome. Good, thanks for having me. To begin with, how have shifting market dynamics changed what works and what doesn't work? I think for a traditional approach and traditional indices, in Australia we have quite a high concentration in more larger cap securities. Now, many of those are income orientated. Just think in a world now where there has been rate rises, a yield curve adjustment, there's a full spectrum, a whole range of opportunities and thinking globally about investment grade or even high quality sub-investment grade investments, the income role, how is that fulfilled within a portfolio and what are the diversity and resilience attributes? We just think there's a whole range of investments out there um, more so than would have been considered in the past in a traditional way of constructing um, investments. What are the key lessons that investors should take from this when it comes to diversification? I think from that Australian shares, be clear of the role. So as a standalone, what's the role? And more broadly, how does that actually diversify and contribute at the total portfolio level? So smaller companies in Australia are likely going to deliver more growth. We advocate for really high quality companies within it, but there's a whole world of opportunities and going global for that growth with some awareness or management of currency. Um, that's certainly not a foreign concept. And we just see now that whole continuum beyond Australia, the continuum to listed or private markets, it's just this range of opportunities. And we're fortunate enough to be able to access and bring to our clients. Why do Australians need to reduce their bias towards Australian equities? What should they be looking at instead? Well, I think if we take arguments of um, home bias and local, whether it be franking credits or whether it be local um, inflation rate, we take those arguments as, as said, I'm not going to revisit those now. It's as simple as where are you going to access the highest quality and highest quality opportunities um, where you have a fuller universe of opportunity for from a valuation standpoint. And in, you know, we're fortunate in Australia, we've got some great businesses. If I think about Reese or ARB, Reliance, Seven Group, that mid-cape space, um, WiseTech, another one in the technology space, they're growing and they're really high quality. But often, for example, recently in reporting season, Reese jumped almost 20% on the day, solid result, expansion in the US, but to be up 20% on the day and almost 40 times PE, there are great businesses out there, which we see opportunities probably at better valuations. So I guess bringing all those things together, we've got um, a broader opportunity set, be aware of what it contributes on a standalone basis, but takes the next step. What does it contribute at the total portfolio level and how does it bring um, the outcome you're seeking? And ultimately we think that's about diversity and resilience and delivering consistent outcomes. What does this all mean for MLC's portfolio? Is how are you positioning? Yeah, look, in short, we're going after those opportunities. We're really fortunate in that the breadth of team and depth of experience, we have access to that whole range of opportunities that I've talked through, the whole continuum. So when it comes to constructing portfolios, um, for me, for my team, for the broader investment team, we can rely on those different views and shape what isn't just a point estimate or a single expected outcome, but a range of you know, potential future outcomes and a diversified, resilient portfolio. And for me, um, having that opportunity within managed accounts, we're really just getting started with our journey of growth and delivering for our clients. And you know, this has got to be the best job in the world, doesn't it? Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your insights today. Thanks so much. If you've enjoyed this interview, please subscribe to Livewire Markets. Thank you for watching.